Hi, welcome to Bandai Namco Games in London, where I'm going to have a hands-on with Project Cars and chat to Bandai Namco's own Lee Curtin. Project Cars is the first game that we've actually gone to the, the, the fan who play driving games and asked them what they actually wanted. Rather than just making a game that most studios would do and just saying, here's the next car game, through the start of development of the game, they literally went to the fans of driving games across all different uh, driving games and disciplines and said, you know, what do you want to see? There's no kind of grinding involved. You know, if you can go straight in at the beginning and say, right, I want to take um, a GT car on Brands Hatch at 10 o'clock at night and put some rain after about you know 20 minutes of driving and then it will simulate all of that for you. So there's no starting off with a you know a Fiat Punto and working your way through for 20 hours to get to a Zonda. It kind of allows you to, to sort of get involved from the start and do everything that you want to do. The team have obviously been working on the game for a long time now and the key thing was to make the game available to the public, to the WMD community at day one. So they all had access to the game at the beginning which was you know, effectively a, a kind of beginning shell of technology that already existed at Slightly Mad which could then be built on over time. You know, the game as it currently stands has more tracks than most recent racing games. You know, it's a huge level of um, different disciplines of vehicles and they all feature realistic damage. You know, you've got three internal viewpoints for the cars in Project Cars. The helmet cam is particularly a favourite of most people. We've had involvement from, you know, Ben Collins, uh, who's obviously the ex-Stig, um, Oliver Webb, uh, Nicholas Hamilton. They're all involved in the development of the game as well. So not just the general sort of like hardcore racing enthusiasts who have been involved with the game from the start but actually real racing car drivers. So there's a lot of detail that's gone in to sort of make it everything that somebody wants. You take something like Destiny as a sort of RPG FPS and you can see that that's built for the future. It's not a game that's just gonna release and be over with. Project Cars is exactly the same as that and I think there's only one game in that genre, in the racing game genre, that's probably built for the future, and that is Project Cars for sure. So that's Project Cars, the most authentic racing game you can play on the PlayStation 4. Make sure you pick it up on March the 20th.